In this unit, I would like to tell you more about the work of the British architect Richard Rogers. He studied a master's degree at Yale University and soon afterwards he returned to England where he formed an office together with Norman Foster and they started their practice together. Afterwards, he uh, formed another partnership with Renzo Piano and together they uh, won the Centre Pompidou competition in Paris, which launched their respective careers. After that project, they uh, decided to open each uh, their own offices. Since then, Richard Rogers has become one of the most acclaimed international architects. Now I would like to show you a case study of his work with the Barajas Airport in Madrid. This project was uh, assigned after a competition which uh, Richard Rogers won. It starts with this idea of designing a base unit that uh, adapts to the needs of the airport and later reproducing it on the longer scale. As you can see this canopy in the sketch goes all above the airport and unifies everything that is underneath. He designed an undulating structure that is able to create this unique space in the interior and also to protect the interior from uh, the shadow of uh, the strong sun in Spain. The building was made with steel and concrete structure and wooden cladding in the lower part and uh, below the roof and metal cladding on the roof itself. It uses a lot of natural ventilation and also natural light. Uh, there are skylights uh, above the main space which can filter the light during the day and there's almost no need for artificial light in the interior during the daytime. At night, uh, the, the the roof or the ceiling of the building are lit from below and create this unique vibration in the interior space. We see how the base unit reproduces along the section of the building and it's an example of how when an architect designs one section, one unit, they can expand it and reproduce it uh, through the entire project. That uh, kind of approach is scalable so in the future if the airport decides to expand they can just build more of the same units and attach them to the existing uh, construction. You can see the construction starting with these concrete uh, pillars in the bottom that hold the roof and the metal structure of uh, the ceiling. The beams that are used to hold the ceiling and the roof and then this very light uh, section which uh, you see in the original model after the competition and was later developed into a more defined section uh, in the design development of this project. The interior of the project is, is quite unique. We see this almost infinite space which at night reflects in, in the windows of uh, the facade and during the day it offers us view towards the exterior but um, under the shadow because we are protected by the roof that spans above um, the plan of the building. Richard Rogers used colors as a way to indicate the different parts of the building. So for example, the colors vary from, from green to blue to red to uh, pink and violet and when we are meeting someone, we can just say, well, let's meet in the red section and everyone knows where that is. Every single detail in the building is designed with a lot of attention. We see all the way from the larger elements like the structure to the details that uh, hold the uh, lights or the ones that hold the facade. Everything is uniquely designed with a lot of attention and a lot of uh, skills. Um, see the air conditioning on each floor and also the check-in and luggage loading areas. In this project Richard Rogers 
use some of the elements of his earlier works as for example the fact that he exposes the structure in the exterior or the fact that he uses the circulation as an expressive element. We see these very prominent staircases in the interior that connect different levels but at the same time we have this very plastic and unique presence in the interior which provides the quality of the space uh, that passengers go through. The airport has this unique spectacle of lights and shadow and reflections and colors in the in both in the interior and in the exterior. This is one of the um, busiest airports in Europe as it has a lot of traffic with Latin America and therefore it is an airport that's very used and, and Richard Rogers had a lot of exposure through this project. We can say that this is one of the biggest accomplishments of the career of Richard Rogers and certainly the, the building that has the biggest amount of users that go through it each day. I invite you to look further into the work of Richard Rogers and to uh, read the text below the video by Jean-Louis Cohen, which would give you more information about the work of Richard Rogers and some other projects that you can find on your own.